guys, it's Chris, and it's still Christmas, and I'm still making videos. Next up on our checklist uh, is going to be a 321 update. This is the Amiga 600 with the Furia EC020 at 40-ish megahertz. Um, for this exercise, I'm going to be using a 512 meg compact flash or a 4 gig compact flash. I have copied the OS 3.2.1 upgrade folder to both of these. Since this is the Furia, we're going to go ahead and turn it on because it infuriates you. This might have some screen blah and it's not going to look the greatest. This is an ECS. It's an 8 color. I think it's got Magic Workbench on it in two partitions. By default with OS 3.2 ROMs that I burned myself and OS 3.2 on here. As you can see, it's not the clearest display because it's being double scaled. If I were to plug it in directly, it would be better. As you can see, it's 3.2 and 3.2 ROMs. Blah, blah, blah. Great. It's also 8 megs of RAM, 2 megs of chip. So if I am to insert this card in here with the Furia and 8 megs of RAM, 3.2, it's not going to do nothing. I need to hold down the old shift uh, control, left Amiga, right Amiga, for 3 seconds and let go. Maybe that was longer. This will reboot it into a 4 meg mode where my compact flash card will be available. Long ago, I had some strange issues with 3.2 and the floppy light doing some random stuff. I since then destroyed the keyboard membrane and put a fan on top of the Furia that is not interfering with the new replacement ribbon cable, which keeps it cool. And the extra draw of the fan did some magic science and took all the gremlins away from the 600. So now we are in a 4 meg mode and I have a 512 meg drive. Our old directory works because that's my go-to volumes, 512, whoops, there it was around the root. We're going to copy this to my other hard drive and I'll blip back when that's done. We got it configured. We're still in the 4 meg mode as you can see up here and here is our update 321 folder. This is either going to blow it up or make it happy. We're just going to go ADFs. We're going to do not the um, 9 million insertions with go ADF. We're going to use OS 3.2's built-in ADF mounter by running update 3.2.1. Remember, I'm still in 4 meg mode, and I'm actually going to unhook the PCMCIE here and get that out of the way. Here is our mounted disk. We're going to say install English like Jesus spoke. OCD me closing all of my background windows. This program will update your junk. Let her rip. Tater chip. We're going to say intermediate mode just to make sure it's on system and not work. Yep. English like Jesus spoke. And whatever. This will auto mount the other discs by itself, which makes the install so much faster. You'll see it's on update still there's classes I don't have to do a thing and you shouldn't have to do a thing either if you do have some weirdness after this check your old folder because it moves your startup sequence there if there was any custom stuff you had in there possibly for your accelerator card it could be in there causing your problems you can do the old two finger salute and boot with no startup sequence to use ED or other tools to put yourself back to where you can be working. Okay, so here we go. We are in Amiga 600. It'll insert my modules disk for me already. You're done. Eject your disks, which I don't have to worry about. Proceed. It's going to reboot, either blow up or show up. Watch, it looks exactly the same, but we booted. 3, 2, 1 is complete. That is 3 for 3, and actually. Me workbench 3.2.1. We're in 4 meg mode still. If I wanted 8, I could hold the three fingers down. On a 3.2 ROM, 8 megs of RAM. Everything is cool. 3 for 3 on this one. Uh, update 3.2.1. We're going to go into ADFs and I'm going to open Disk Doctor, which will mount it on the desktop right here. Now you can just say icons, eject disk. Eject disk and it's gone. 
Isn't that cool? That's the new feature that's really nice. You have eject disc as part of it. Can I eject work? Unmounted disc? Let's unmount a daggone hard drive here. Come on, can you do it? Get out of here. Eject disc. Not format. Nah, it's not going to eject the hard drive. Well, that's cool. So that is three for three. Let's go into tools and run the updated uh, show config. See if it shows the Furia in here. I don't know. Took a second here. Uh, let's see. ECS NTSC Agnes 020 47.7 47.96 ROM Boris Chrisma Furia EC020. She shows. So thank you for watching this quick update for an Amiga 600 Furia with the 3.2 ROM to uh, 3.2.1. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.